Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Tara Burson, and today I have the director of the Middletown Township Public Library with me, Kate Hammond. Thanks so much for joining us, Kate. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. We're going to jump right in and talk about the exciting renovations happening at the library. Can you give us a brief overview of what's happening? Sure. There's a lot happening right now. We are going to be under construction. The entire adult reference area of the library is going to be renovated. We're reconfiguring some seating. We're expanding the teen room. We're adding private study rooms. And we're also adding in a maker space, which I'm very excited about. And then in the latter part of the um, renovation, we're also going to be moving our Friends of the Library bookstore. And what is a makerspace? Makerspace is a very cool thing. A lot of libraries have been adding them over the past few years. It's a space where we have different types of equipment, such as sewing machines, crickets, um, 3D printers, laser cutters. So it, it'll be open and available for anyone to use to come in and do different types of crafts or make 3D objects. Small businesses Yeah, as well, definitely. Owners. Small business owners. You know, the, a lot of the equipment and materials are expensive. So we're going to have a lot of that stuff there available for them. And I know there's something about a new history room going in? Yes, yes. Our history room we is currently in the back part of the adult reference area, but we're moving it to the front part of the library on the other side of the wall by our fireplace area. And we're making it larger. We're adding more resources, more um, research equipment. Yeah. And when you go in there, can you like research your genealogy and do sure. things like that? Yeah, the library like has access to Ancestry. Um, online version of Ancestry and um, we'll have different types of historical resources in there. We're very excited to um, utilize the space for different programs and displays, especially with America's 250th coming up. Oh, that's 2026. I know. Yeah, right. be that's... here before we know it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And what do you think were some of the main drivers for the renovation? I think the history room was a big driver for the for the project. And then the last few years, you know, we've just noticed that, you know, with after COVID, a lot more people started working from home, but they don't always want to be in their house. So we've seen an influx of people wanting to come in and use private private rooms. So a nice big expanded history room and the private spaces that we're adding um, were the big drivers for this project. And how much will this impact patrons now? When you walk in, is there a lot of construction going on? What does it look like right now? So the amount of space that people can come in and utilize and sit has obviously lessened, but we worked really hard to make sure that we're still providing all the same resources and services that we had before the construction started. So we have a scaled down version of our reference room in one half of our community room, mm -hmm. which is at the front part of the building when you first walk in. So we have public computers, we've got copy machines, printing, faxing, Everything that you could do before, you can do now. And then um, we actually repurposed a part of our reference desk and put it in the lobby. So we have a staff member right there when you first walk in. Any questions, directions, tours, <laughs> anything you, can, you need, they're right there. That's great. Um, and when will all this come to fruition? When can we expect to see the, the finished product? Well, any big construction project takes a little bit of time, but we're hoping that um, by September, it'll be substantially completed by then. That all sounds amazing. Yeah, we're Thank excited you so to see much. It. Thank you so much for joining us today and for taking the time to share these updates. And for more information about the library's renovations, you can visit www.mtpl.org.